Yo, what to do, YouTube? It is your boy Coast Talk back with another video. Today, we're going to talk about the playoff hoax for the Indianapolis Colts. Now, get me right. The Indianapolis Colts has had a very successful season, a comeback season at that. We struggled at the beginning, but Coach Frank and Andrew Luck and his offense and that fire defense led by Darius Leonard, the rookie of the year, in my opinion, for defense, has brought us back and has us currently at a record pace of 7-6 and six that can make the playoffs after just beating the Houston Texans, which was on a winning streak from ground up starting from week five, I believe. The Houston Texans is one of the best teams in the NFL and maybe the second best team in the AFC. But... Unfortunately, they came short last week against the Colts and lost by three. Andrew Luck led the comeback and got the offsides call on Jadavia Clowney, which cost the game, and the Colts wound up winning by three points. And now they are even closer uh, making the playoffs due to Baltimore losing last week to the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, this is a very close race for us. In my opinion, I would like to see the Colts and the Ravens make the playoffs, but the way the playoffs is set up, Pittsburgh is definitely winning that division, and they are in a closer chance of making a wild card, which brings a three-way tie between the Dolphins, Colts, and the, the Ravens themselves, which is definitely a shocker because the Dolphins won last week as well. They beat the New England Patriots in Miami due to a Miami miracle, people will say, um, but this is definitely a close race, but I'm just gonna go off the three games that are left for each teams uh, between the Ravens, Steelers, and the Dolphins because I feel like the Steelers can definitely lose their spot in the playoffs as well if they lose the rest of these games. But who knows what may happen because anything can happen. Um, it's a close race. If the Colts make the playoffs, it would definitely be a big boost for Coach Frank his first year as an Indianapolis Colts head coach and how he led this team and motivated us to push us into the playoffs with this team, this young team, the fire squad we have. Uh, we have a lot of promise for the future and the way we are playing right now is actually unbelievable. Nobody expected this comeback like this to happen, but some did with Andrew Luck coming back and being fully healthy. Some people expected us to make the playoffs either. I mean, anyway, so um, other than that, we are currently seven and six. Well, the Baltimore Ravens have three games left. They play the Buccaneers, which is a fire offense. The defense is quite suspect, but somehow their defense has been getting a lot of interceptions lately. So if the rape, if they can get the Ravens offset and beat them, it is likely possible, but it's going to be a 30% chance. And I don't see that happening. After that, they play the Chargers, which is the best. Well, one of the best teams in the AFC. Um, Phillip Rivers is definitely leading that team to a lot of victories, which is quite shocking. They have a rookie safety in James, which is one of the best and probably is going to win defensive rookie of the year. Um, they have a fire, a decent defense with Joey Bosa coming back as well. So they might go ahead and beat Baltimore, which is probably a 70% chance on that. And the last game is going to go see Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns. That game is a toss up as well. The Cleveland Browns have a 40% chance of winning this game against the Baltimore Ravens, but I feel like the Ravens can outlast that, which is going to leave them 2-1 and one for the last three games of the season, in my opinion. On to the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Pittsburgh Steelers are number one in the AFC North. They have three games left in this schedule, which is definitely a toss-up. They do play New England Patriots, I'm pretty sure. They're going to lose this game. They feel like there's going to be a 60% chance that the Patriots win this and the Steelers lose, unfortunately. But then after this, they play the hot New Orleans Saints and the potential MVP of the NFL, Drew Brees. I'm going to give the Steelers a 30% chance to win this game because the offense for the Saints are just too fire and I don't feel like they have enough to stop on defense. The last game is against the Cincinnati Bengals. The Cincinnati Bengals put up a fight last week. Nobody expected, but I feel like there's not going to be enough for the Bengals to do to beat the Steelers with their top receiver, A.J. Green, being out. And I'm going to give the Steelers a go-ahead 100% to win this game, which is going to leave their record at 1-2 and two for the last three games of the season. And on to the last team is the Miami Dolphins. They shocked the Patriots last week with the Miami Miracle, and they do have three games left that are quite questionable. They do play the Minnesota Vikings, which is the first game, and I feel like they're going to have 
a 100% chance of losing this game against the Minnesota Vikings. There's just nothing they can do to stop this team. The Vikings are hungry. They need every win to make the playoffs. The next game they play is the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jacksonville Jaguars are going through quarterback issues, but they still do have a run game, and I feel like they might can pull this off against the Dolphins. So I'm going to give the Dolphins a 40% chance to win this game, but I feel like the Dolphins might lose this by a field goal against the Jacksonville Jaguars. The last game they do play is the Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills are just one of the worst teams in the NFL. I don't see them having a chance of beating the Miami Dolphins in this game, so I'm going to give the Dolphins a 100% chance of winning this game, which is going to leave their record at 1-2 and two for the last three games. So the Colts have the best options and the best chance to make the playoffs out of this last stretch. Now the Colts do have three games, which are might questionable, but I feel like they can pull it off. The first game they do play is the Dallas Cowboys, which is this Sunday coming up. Uh, the Cowboys is definitely on fire right now. They just won again last week against the Eagles, which made them clinch the division, in my opinion. I had them winning the division at the beginning of the season. Uh, them winning last week is definitely a booster, and I feel like the Colts can pull this one out, and I'm going to give us a 50% chance to win. On to the next game, we played the New York Giants. Odell did not play last week. It is questionable for him to play this week, but Eli Manning has been complete horrible, and their offensive line is injury prone. So is their defense without Landon Collins. I do not see the Giants pulling this off. I feel like the Colts is going to win this one. I'm going to give us a 70% chance. The last game we do play is the Tennessee Titans. The Tennessee Titans, we absolutely destroyed the first time we played, and I feel like Andrew Luck is going to keep that momentum and go ahead, and the Colts is going to win this one with off the defensive effort. Derrick Henry did have a good run and good game against the Jacksonville Jaguars in that division, and they wind up beating them twice, but I don't think the Colts can go ahead and let that up and let that happen to us, so I'm going to give the Colts a 60% chance to win which is going to lead me to a 3-0 and record for the last three games. We are second in the AFC South. Anything is possible, which is going to give us a playoff spot. Now, this might be kind of biased, but I honestly do think we have the easiest three games. Other than Dallas, our stretch is definitely winnable, and I feel like we can pull this out and make the playoffs. If we don't make it, it won't be a disappointing season. We're always an average 8-8 eight eight team. Um, Without making the playoffs, uh, even without luck, we only had one bad season. Um, but I definitely feel like we can pull this out and make the playoffs and go 10 and 6, maybe 10 and 6 or 9 and 7, as I predicted at the beginning of the season. But anything is possible. Other than that, Coach Frank had a great first season. The Colts had a great first season. And the offseason is going to be pretty big for us, in my opinion. We might land a top safety and a top lineman on defense. But hey, anything is possible. I love the team right now. Deion Kane comes back next year, which I had high hopes for. So I would like to see that happen. Um, Andrew Luck should win comeback player of the year. And I would like to, you know, watch the playoffs and hope that it's going to be something new. If we don't make it, we don't. If we do, it'll be even better because I have more videos for you guys. But that's all I got. Who do you think is going to pull it off in the last three games of the stretch between this three-way tie? I'm pretty sure half of you guys are going to have the Colts. Some people might say someone else. But you guys might say two teams might make it out of this last three. But that's all I got for you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications. It's your boy, Coach Talk. Signing out. Peace.